Hello everyone, Austin in here. Welcome back to another Austin Reviews. So today I just got back from watching the Han Solo movie that came out on May 25th today, which is the day that I'm I'm actually recording this. But I watched it and I gotta say, I love it. I really do. So I'll be doing a quick review of it. It will have spoilers, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then leave now. Three, two, one. And so it starts off with like how I would if I was the director. Action! This movie has a lot of action and the young Han Solo has this I guess you could say quote unquote girlfriend that well later well I'm not gonna say it right now but he Han Solo is trying to get some credits in order to get a ship for him and the girlfriend quote unquote to get out of there and go to see the stars. But a lot of shit happened. He ran to bounty hunters and well, they worked together somehow. I really don't know why he trusted Han Solo after whatever, but they did work it out pretty well. I seen all these new costumes and robots. I love L3, that fucking robot. Beautiful, I love it. So I am gonna say some of the deaths. All the bounty hunters that Han Solo worked with, which hit a lot of deaths, really pretty much. And L3, which I didn't really want it to happen, but it had to because L3 is not in original movies back in 1970s and 80s. Fuck my life. There were some interesting parts. Sometimes the movie got pretty, you're like in action, then out of nowhere it changes to soft moments and out of nowhere it changes the action again. That could be pretty overused after a while, but still, the action is ama amazing. We still had stormtroopers in it. Amazing. We didn't see Darth Vader or the Emperor, which is, well, I don't mind because they added someone else, which I'm gonna say in a couple of seconds, minutes, whatever. But I really love the actor that played Han Solo. I don't know what his name is. I could just check on Google later. But he did play a really good Han Solo movie. It remind me of Han Solo. And same with Lando. He really is a young, new age Lando. <laughs> and there was a lot of betrays in the fucking movie. Including the quote unquote girlfriend. So in the beginning of the movie, they got separated. And then after three years, he finally found him her by well going into a fucking ship with more bounty hunters there's a lot of bounty hunters in the fucking movie i will say this there is no boba fett but that's okay because we're getting a boba fett movie anyways i don't know how that's gonna work but we'll find out sooner or later so well, i'm gonna talk about the quote unquote girlfriend i you'll know why i keep on saying quote unquote it's because she because of the, the Imperial, she got brainwashed to be bad, bad woman. She's not good after getting caught into Imperial and other bounty hunters such like that. So, I'm going to say the reason why I don't mind with Darth Vader and Emperor not appearing. Because we saw a character that hasn't been seen since the prequels. I don't know f but why he was there. I don't know how it connects. Maybe it connects because of a Star Wars TV show like The Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels. I have no idea. But, quote unquote girlfriend, I'm, I don't even remember the damn name. Oh boy. So, after she killed... <laughs> so what is it talking about? Oh yeah. So, I don't know how this connects, but she killed the leader, but she took control over the ship. She left Han and Chewbacca. I do love how Han and Chewbacca met, and when they fly together in the Falcon, I fucking loved it. As you can tell, I am a Star Wars nerd. I loved it, this part. And she contacted someone to tell about this and lied. She said that Han Solo killed the leader of this team of bounty hunters, but he didn't. It was her that she told him. And do you want to know who's him? It's fucking Darth Maul. And oh my god, it was the first time we saw Darth Maul in the big screens since episode 1. I fucking loved it. 
He's fucking creepy. This was my review. Sorry if uh, it was too short for you to understand. This is just first impressions of review. And like I said, this was spoilers. So sorry if you got spoiled even though I said it in the title of the video and in the video itself. But that's good. I love it. I love the movie. I didn't think it would be good because of people hating it a lot just because of the actor that plays Han Solo doesn't even look like Han Solo, but it's supposed to be a young Han Solo. Duh. But, cause they hated that there was a different actor that people wanted Star Wars to choose, but they didn't and chose someone else. Yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to join the Wubby Gamers. You could just check out the movie if you want to, even if it's legal or not legal, even though you should do legally, pretty much. Just do that, please. But, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to share to help me and the, your content create content create <laughs> i'll see you in the next video peace out what?